We are looking forward to this fight, especially after seeing what happened at the weigh-in yesterday. Everybody's been waiting for these two to meet up. Now they do, as round one is underway. Should be a real interesting matchup here in this fight because no doubt about it, Ray has a target on him and he's got a power puncher standing opposite him. Yeah, but that's what the good thing about being Sugar Ray Leonard is. Because he's so solid in so many areas. He's technically solid. And you know what that means? That means defensively he knows what he's doing too. So he's going to find a way to disarm this guy with the bomb. He knows how to technically, how to physically how to defensively get rid of that power. Laura is showing that he's got some defense of his own. He got away from that punch. Good combination to the body. Dismisses his opponent's headshot. Laura is almost looking foolish that time. He did not see that right hand at all. He may want to tie up. Oh, he's hurt right there. He is hurt. You know, his opponent's doing a good job of just being patient now and looking for that one good shot. Well, you know, the landscape of this business, the history of this business is littered with guys that they've had someone hurt, they get a little careless, they get caught. He better watch out that he doesn't get put on that landscape. Solid left hand to the head. Unbelievable pace here tonight. Both guys have no plans of having this fight go far. I'm sure the frame of reference for most is Hadler Hearns. Yeah, you wonder if it's gonna live up to that. So far, so good. Laura's putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. So they close out that round. Joe and Teddy with you ringside. Teddy, I know you watch uh, very closely how these trainers go about their business. You were under the tutelage of one of the true legends of the game, the great Customato. Yeah, I mean, I was fortunate. Quite honestly, those opportunities, situations, probably don't exist anymore because we've lost a lot of those, you know, really great trainers and managers that boxing was their whole life. I spent seven years with Customato, and they learned the nuts and bolts from a physical, technical point of view of what's important to give to a fighter, but the psychological part, to understand the pressures that a fighter is under, the fears that a fighter deals with. And if you don't understand that, all the other things don't mean anything because you have to understand how a fighter's feeling to understand why he's behaving or not behaving a certain way. there he may hit the floor he got rocked he just got rocked and he's still taking punches the only way right now is to grab on a little bit stop this flow this is where all that great experience on the cuban national team comes to play for aris Landi laura he is so composed he was hurt he recovers he engages in the clinch that's a big right hand. Oh, he's hurt right there. He is hurt. So in this kind of situation, it's kind of like a wounded animal. Yeah, you can go after, but you better be careful because he'll strike out. he moves his head now if he just stands there straight and you're the trainer you better get up on those steps and stop it he's not right teddy is it raw skill is it technique what's the answer for him why is he missing so many punches and tiring himself out here it's forgetting about the idea the idea that it's not enough just to throw a punch you have to have a plan to land it you know you have to have a missile to get it to the target otherwise what does it do just blows up, makes a hole in the ground, and when it rains, guess what? You go swimming. He's going to go swimming later. Laura's out to show everybody that he's fine. 
But we saw what happened in the last round. He was knocked down in that last round. Does he have to prove something to himself as well as proving something to everybody in this arena? Well, that's the right question. So he's got to revisit his memory banks a little bit and know that he's already proven it to himself. He's been in this position before, so he has to regain that confidence and understand that he can deal with this. He's done it before. Way through this round here. Relax, relax. Leonard's movements really helping him out, avoiding that punch. There's the combo downstairs. So dangerous with that accuracy, a two-punch combination landing. Nice, sharp, fundamentally sound hook right there, and it served him well. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Last 10 seconds. Keeping his hands up, getting away of his opponent's effort. Well, we heard his analysis, but as for how Teddy has scored those first three rounds, here's a look. Nice block by Sugar Ray Leonard. Sugar Ray Leonard's in a good rhythm defensively here. Teddy, what is that, a credit to his ability to anticipate? You know, also, it's the teaching. Let's give the trainers credit. Of course, let's give his background of the amateurs credit, but he learned how to get away from punches. This is technique that was taught to him. A crushing two-punch combo by Sugar Ray Leonard. Leonard's just punching air that time. Watch your punch. The ref says no low blows. He gives him the warning. He comes right back with a shot of his own. Time. That's one point. Hitting his mark there, going upstairs. <laughs> Halfway through round number four. And now we got a fight. He fires back a right hand of his own. Eris Londi Lara is doing well here with that two-punch combination. He is not in good shape. Second time. Come on, one, your feet. two, three, four, Come on. five. Get on your feet. So now the question becomes: After that knockdown, and he has gotten up, how does he survive? So one of the ways he survives is if he's been taught. Have good habits. Have good fundamentals been put there? You're gonna find out right now. He needs them right now. Well, I don't know if he's hip to the idea of becoming a counterpuncher, but I get the sense you'd agree with it. Yeah, definitely. I mean, he's got the perfect platform, the perfect form for it. The guy's walking in right now, not moving his head much. He can time him, he can counter him. Laura's combination punching is working well here. This has been a hotly contested war throughout, and you just have a sense that it's going to end at any moment in these later rounds. Yeah, these guys are not saving anything. They're going for broke right from the beginning. Laura's left now getting into the mix. Very accurate work. Three punch combination serves him well. Body. 
Davis. Then he comes back with the right hand. Halfway into round number five here. Good return fire that time. Not able to land the headshot. Lara's taken a lot of punishment with the right hand. Teddy, you've said many times, it's where you put your own head when you get hit by those right hands. Well, one place I could tell you where not to put it, in the middle. And he needs to move it to the left, outside that right hand. Lara's missing the mark by a mile. That just was nowhere to be found. And now committing to that midsection as the target with the combination punching. Fires right back at him. And he just holds on there. Lara's showing you that sublime skill right now with that two-punch combo. Final 10 seconds of this fifth round. And the bell rings, signifying the end of the round. Leonard's well-conditioned to the realities of this harsh business of boxing. But even though we know what we've seen out of some ringside scorecards through the years, I'd be shocked if everybody doesn't have him ahead in this fight right now. Yeah, but never be shocked in this business because you never know with these blind judges sometimes. I hate to say it that bluntly, but time and time again, you just get shocked when you hear the score at the end of the night. Laura is doing a poor job. There's no other way to really say it. I mean, he's sitting there trying to stay committed to being a counterpuncher. But in the meantime, the fight is getting away from him in a big way. Yeah, he needs a plan B right now. You know, he came in with plan A, Joe, but plan B is what he needs. He has to find another way to create offense. He's not going to be able to do a countering on the back end. Left hook scores upstairs, as does the uppercut. Halfway through round six. And that's what fighters do. Pulls the trigger right away after taking one. Laura's coming through now beautifully. That's the combination punching he wants to put forth. Well, he's committed to the left hand and it's paying off here. Laura's well off the mark that time. Leonard's not known as a guy that takes a lot of punishment downstairs, but he did that time with those two punches landing. Wow, nice flush left hand. Uncle Mo has come to visit. Momentum is now on his side. That's why you can't let go of that steering wheel when you're driving. You know, all of a sudden, bang, you're in the back seat. You're not in the front seat. You're not in the driver's seat anymore. Wow, he backs up the combination, landed all four of them. And we come to the end of the round. Laura's got to like where he's headed right now. Now, your scorecard still has him trailing, but he did win that last round. Yeah, I think so. I mean, before it looked like he was just trying to, you know, negotiate with his opponent. Now negotiation is over. He's trying to just go through. And for where he's at, I think that's the right attitude. He missed with that headshot. Laura's landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. Leonard's best asset is a little bit of an unorthodox athleticism, and right now, his opponent can't deal with it. No, he's frustrating him. I mean, you're right. You know, being awkward the way he is, that is really what gives his opponents troubles because they get so confused by that, so irritated by that, they get out of their fight. There he is zoning in, the old one-two. Now he's trying to create an opportunity here as he backs him up against the ropes. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. Nice job snapping those jabs by Sugar Ray Leonard.
combination to the head. Nice! Nice! Coming towards the end of the seventh round, ten seconds to go. Three minutes gone by in this round. Round number eight, Leonard's opponent may believe he's in front on the scorecards. This is a very close competitive fight. Now you have him up, Teddy. Wow, what a turnaround. You never know what's going to happen in this game. You're never supposed to take anything for granted, never assume anything. They tell you that in life. In the ring, you get taught that real fast. He got caught by a big shot. Sugar Ray showing defense, able to block that punch. Sugar Ray Leonard's doing something that not everybody appreciates, but he is making his defense a major fact. Oh, that up. Big, big shot comes crashing home. Remember earlier, he was on the canvas. Now he's looking down on his opponent. And we thought it was a bad thing earlier for him. It turned out to be a bad thing for his opponent because he got careless here. To the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. Watch the hook! Comes right back at him with a left hand. 90 seconds to go, halfway through round eight. Scores up top with a left. And he ties up on the inside. Well, sending more than one at him now, the combo to the head. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by Sugar Ray Leonard. Keep moving, keep moving. Good solid shots with the combo downstairs. Leonard's able to avoid that punch. Last 10 seconds of the eighth round. Leonard's been able to avoid having any of his opponent's headshots landing flush. And what his opponent has to do, Joe, is make an adjustment. What we used to tell the fighters, when the guy's elusive, like this fighter is right now, you have to shorten your punch yourself. Shorten them up a little bit, have less space to travel. They have a better chance of getting to that elusive target. He's acting like a fighter. Coming back with the right hand after getting scored upon. <laughs> Laura's the kind of boxer that wants to do just that. Find the target, get the combination working, land both punches. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left hand scores. That straight right unable to connect. Laura's putting forth a great combination there. Come on, give both of them. That's exactly what he wanted to do, backing him up against the ropes. Well, supposed to be fighting, but instead he's hugging. He is so dangerous with that left hook to the body, and this time he adds the right hand on the back end. In and out. In and out. Laura's showing you what it takes to be the best in this business. Good, crisp combos. And now a little combination punching, landing both shots. This round comes to an end, and you can just see that he doesn't have much 
to him. Not much energy there. I mean, how does a trainer fix that? Well, first of all, you said a key word there. You said you can just see. Well, his opponent can see it, so he's not going to slow down. His opponent now is going to come out even faster. So if you're the trainer, the first thing you say is, hey, take a deep breath, get yourself together. Don't let this guy know you're tired. You're not tired. Targeting that midsection now with the combo. Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. Laura's throwing wide punches. If I'm standing opposite of that, I jump on it. Yeah, well, if you're the fighter, that's where you have to be kind of like into a Kodak moment, where you take a picture and you say, okay, remember that, and the next time, bang, I'm going to take advantage. Nice combination by Sugar Ray Leonard. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Just a minute to go in this bout. Good clean shot returning fire. Well done by Sugar Ray Leonard. Now he's boxing in his man a bit there. He's got him trapped in the corner. That is a big right hand after eating one himself. Leonard's putting forth that hard work he did in training camp there, landing a crisp combination. Teddy, who would have ever thought it? Two guys like this, brawlers, punchers, that it would go to a decision. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you thought you were going to get a firework display, and you wind up getting a little bit of painting. Leonard's performance tonight was exactly what he was looking for, and...